Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a Pythagorean theorem problem involving a quadratic expression. So we have in triangle ABC the measure of angle C equals 90 degrees, side AC has a length of 7, the side length of CB equals X, and finally the side length of AB equals X plus 1. And now our goal is to find the length of side CB and side AB. So to get started, let's draw a right triangle. And now, with the information given, we have that the right angle is located at vertex C. So when we draw this, we can label this vertex C. And this is where the right angle is going to be. So now we could label the other two vertices A and B, since this is triangle ABC. And now we have side AC has a length of 7, so we can fill in 7 along this leg. We have side CB, the length equals X. And we have side AB, the length is X plus 1. But these are variables X. So we need to find the actual length of side CB and AB. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which when we have any right triangle with side lengths AB and hypotenuse C, we could set up the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. These three side lengths must fit this relationship in order for this to be a right triangle. So we'll apply that to this triangle here. Remember, in general, we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the hypotenuse. So we could substitute. We have a equals b equals c equals. Well, the one we need to be careful with the most is the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and set the hypotenuse C equal to X plus 1. Remember the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. So in this case we have C equals X plus 1. And now A and B are interchangeable so we could call let's say side length A we'll say is 7 and we'll say the other length B is equal to X. So now that we have the three sides of this right triangle we could substitute into the Pythagorean theorem. So we have a squared, but we could just substitute for 7, so we have 7 squared plus b is x, so we have plus x squared equals, and now c squared. Well, c equals x plus 1, so we're looking at x plus 1 squared. And now we could simplify this line. Well, we have 7 squared, this is 49, so we have 49 plus x squared is just x squared. And now x plus 1 squared, we could write as the product of two binomials. So this is really just x plus 1 times x plus 1. And now for the next line, we could write the left-hand side. We have 49 plus x squared. But now to expand the right-hand side, this is where multiplying binomials is going to come in. You could think of it as foiling, whichever way it helps you. But we're multiplying, you could do x times x is x squared. And now we have x times 1 is a positive x. We have plus x. 1 times x again to multiply the inner terms, so plus another x. And now last, we have 1 times 1, so plus 1. And now we could combine like terms. So in the next line, we have 49 plus x squared equals, and we have x squared plus x plus x is 2x. So we have 2x plus 1. And now to solve for x, well, we have a common x squared on both sides. So we could subtract x squared from both sides. And this will get the x squares to cancel out. And also, in one step, we could also subtract 1 from both sides. And this will get the 1 minus 1 on the right-hand side will cancel out. And we have 49 minus 1 on the left-hand side. So now all we have left, we have 48 on the left. Because remember, 49 minus 1 is 48, and the x squares canceled out. So 48 equals, all that's left on the right-hand side is 2x. So now we divide by 2, and this tells us that x equals 48 divided by 2 is 24. So side length CB, we have that side length CB is equal to x. So that side, the length is 24, 
and side AB, the hypotenuse, has a side length of x plus 1. But if x is 24, then x plus 1 will be 25. So this side length is 25. And now if you do have time, I would advise to run these three side lengths through the Pythagorean theorem. So we have that this side is 24 and this side is 25. So we would be looking at 7 squared. Remember, we're doing a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But this side is 7, so we have 7 squared plus this side squared would be 24 squared. And now, this equals the hypotenuse squared, which we just found to be 25. So now we have 7 squared is 49, 24 squared is 576, and 25 squared is 625. So now when we add 576 plus 49, I'll do that over here, 576 plus 49, this gives us... 625. So we have 625 equals 625. So these side lengths check. So our answer to this problem, the length of CB equals 24 and the length of AB equals 25. Okay, well this is going to conclude this Pythagorean theorem problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.